Good Tuesday morning. We are bringing forth another of our daily devotional to provide a spiritual nourishment and uplifting and enlightenment to our souls as we go about our daily tasks. Consider this as our morning spiritual cup of coffee. And today I'll be coming from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. And if I had to title this message, it would be an appeal for prayer as we labor for Christ. Beginning in verse 1, it reads as follows. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord might have free course and be glorified even as it is with you, that, and that we may be delivered from, from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith, but the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Verse 4 and 5. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we commanded you. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and unto the patient waiting for Christ. We see here that Paul is continuing his dialogue with the Thessalonian believers. And this is an appeal for them to pray for them, Paul and his companion, uh, that the word of the Lord may have free course and free reign and go forth and be profitable and fruitful on the ears that would hear and that the Lord will be glorified because what we do for Christ will stand. And we, and like Paul, we believers today, is not out here on the battlefield for the Lord, for our self-glory. We have no glory to glory in. And it's all about Christ and his glory. So yes, we do need prayer and we need encouragement because we are constantly bombarded with Satan attacks and all of the body blows will and can take an effect, a negative one at that effect on us. But we have to stay prayed up and receiving strength from the Lord. I'm reminded when Paul said in his uh, talking to the Lord, and he told, God told him, said, in that weakness, you are made strong through him. And that holds true today for all of us, but we still need prayer as we pray for ourselves and others. We yes, we solicit your prayers for us and giving us our, our God's strength to carry on. It's not an easy battle as it is an endurance one and we have made our commitment to fight it to the end. We, as Paul has said, this is not a race of a sprint. It is a marathon because this is an endurance race. But we, as believers in Christ, who has committed ourselves to work tirelessly in God's vineyard, and that is the world of Kevin carrying good news of salvation through their faith in Jesus Christ to the world. It's not an overnight success, but we keep toiling. And yes, we need prayer and strength. And listen, we have to take comfort in these words. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. God is faithful to us because he has dressed us in his body arm. Because he, being all wise, knew that when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, 
say we come, we become a target for Satan. Satan don't worry about the ones that, that's already lost in his camp. He worried about the ones that is in Christ's camp because he'll look around and say, shucks, I've lost another one. And guess what? As long as we as Christ's ambassadors who continue to proclaim the truth of God's word, Satan will constantly say, shucks, I've lost another one. Because he is not, God is all powerful, let me phrase it that way. And Satan is a defeated force. So we must keep that in mind as we stay on this journey for the Lord. And know that God is with us. And when we get weary, all we have to do is reflect on two things. God said, and his word is true, do not become fearful, nor be dismayed or discouraged to know that I'm with you. And I'm upholding you with the righteousness of my right hand. So yes, we must stay prayed up. As we solicit your continued prayers for us. Thank you and have a blessed day.